um, I have a, a, a thing I like to say, and that, that is, this is definitely for intermediate advanced players, not for beginners. Beginners tend to what I call over single note. That is, if you look at the graphic next to me, if you look at the bottom part of it, um, you can see that the arrows are pointing to that space, which is smaller than that area around it, which is whole. Think, consider that for blow. So what a lot of people do in the beginning is they, what I refer to as over single note, they make this hole smaller with their lips and mouth and, and the sides of their mouth than they need to because they're worried about not getting single notes. And you should be worrying about getting single notes if that's the level you're at. But if you are intermediate advanced player and you've been getting single notes now for months, if not years, you should move on to this. And that is put their harmonica further into your mouth. And ideally what you want to do is you look at the top portion of the graphic. Uh, I'm encouraging you to use this concept of using the whole hole. That's just fun to say. Use the whole hole. Or in, in this case, uh, another way of, of stating that is the complete whole. So you'll notice the way that the top graphic is drawn, the, the sort of pinkish part would be, would be the lips, basically. And notice they're not covering the hole at all. Or not the lips, I mean the corner of the mouth, uh, corners of the mouth like this. What you want to do, again, intermediate advanced people, you spread, you get the harmonica as far into your mouth as you can. You go, okay, I still got a single note. Let me go a little bit further. So you go further. Uh-oh, I've lost it. So come back. You want to make that hole of your mouth, when you place it over the harmonica, as big as possible. Absolutely as big as you can. Think of inside the hole, it's got, what, a height, a width, and a depth. Um, so it's got, it's got a volume, basically. So let's say, just picking numbers here, it's the height and width of the hole. Me, of the hole. There's a hole in there. One of those holes, just the, the, the top, top part and the side is, let's say, two somethings. Okay, whatever that increment is, millimeters, meters, whatever you want to call it. Two somethings. And then the distance of the hole, how deep it goes through the harmonica, is 10. So the complete volume, as much air as you could get in there at one time, would be 2 times 2 times 10, which gives us 40, 40 cubic somethings. Each hole, and again, I'm making this up. I'm making up this number, so you know, don't quote me on this. But it's 40 cubic somethings for those of you that did the math there, right? Height times width times length or depth, whatever it is. Um, so every time you play the hole, you want to focus on getting um, 40 cubic somethings into the hole every single time. If you're over single noting and not taking advantage of the, the complete hole, or the whole hole, as I like to say, um, you're, you're not going to get the, uh, as good volume and power and tone. And that is a big, big part of playing harmonica is getting a good sound. And the majority of our good sound does come from breathing, which again is helped along by you know, how, how we're doing our single notes and et cetera.